What up, YouTube, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Cones, coming at you once again with another ice cream review. I am continuing my push to become the funny hat guy <laughs> just because I'm so quirky. Like, do you know anybody more random and quirky than me? I don't think so. So this is the hat this week. Before we get started, I'm gonna try to guess. If you are drinking a water right now, you gotta like the video because I'm drinking a water and if you're drinking one and I'm drinking one, it's meant to be. So like the video if you're drinking water and you're getting hydrated. So today we're continuing our journey into the Ben & Jerry's core line. This week, something extra special. We have the Ben & Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough core. It is so, so good to look at. Oh my God. I'm kind of more excited for this one than I was about the brownie one, just because as you know, I'm a purist. My palate, very plain, very simple. It likes the flavors untampered with, just pure and rich. The brownie one, there's a lot going on. This is just your base dairy with your chocolate chips and your cookie dough. So this is more my speed. We also did review the Ben & Jerry's cookie dough last summer for cookie dough month and it was pretty good. So if this is just an upgraded version, Ben and or Jerry smack the upgrade button on it and this popped out, it should be pretty good. So in terms of packaging, it's pretty simple. Like I said last time, it's, it's more of a busy version of the classic Ben & Jerry's packaging. You still get the little tees of clouds and clear blue skies above the upper rim, but the middle is just a bit more busy. It shows the ingredients in a more in-depth look, and we still have our little cow there, so pretty cool. I'm gonna have to give the packaging a four out of five. I think the more busy look really fits this flavor since it's got a lot going on. So without further ado, let's treat this like my sunburn and just peel it back. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Very nice. As you can see, just first impressions, we do have, we do have, this is a first look. We do have a little bit of cookie dough piercing the surface. That's pretty cool, that's a good sign. We know from reviewing the Ben & Jerry's cookie dough flavor that the ratio, it was a bit, it was a bit bottom heavy. I'll say that much. Fat bottom girls at the bottom here. It was very much like one or two in the top and then a little bit more dense towards the bottom. So it's, it'll be interesting to see with the addition of the core, how those other random cookie dough pieces sprinkled throughout are. So let's jump right into this. We'll get that first bite. We'll get a little bit of cookie dough, little bit of chocolate chip. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It is kind of crumbly though but that's okay, it's manageable. It'll be interesting to see if my rating's the exact same as last time, because as you know, my ratings are scuffed. They mean close to nothing. <laughs> They're very inconsistent. Mm -hmm. Four out of five, right away. Ben & Jerry's has really, really good cookie dough, but it is crumbling. It's almost like a brown sugar type uh, texture. As we dig deeper, the core does get a bit larger. As you can see, it's not perfectly centered. So I don't know if that's a production flaw or if it's almost like a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory golden ticket situation where only like one in a billion have the core directly in the center. There's no way to know. But all I know is that it's a little bit off center. Aesthetically, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> but it does not affect the taste at all. So in terms of texture, it's pretty much identical to the Ben & Jerry's cookie dough flavor. It's just very silky smooth with a little bit of bumpage from the chocolate chips and the cookie dough adds a nice, almost graininess to it. Like I was saying earlier with the brown sugar comparison, it kind of just adds a bit of depth to the, to the bites. So texture, it's gonna have to be a three out of five. It's really good, don't get me wrong, but, but it's just a little bit too minute. So now let's talk about aftertaste. The aftertaste of the Ben & Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough core flavor, very nice. Near identical again to the traditional Ben & Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. So the score is probably around the same. It's gonna be a four out of five. I love, love, love the taste of the cookie dough. Ben & Jerry's uh, does it right and I can't complain. The aftertaste is very welcomed. 
the cookie dough stays for a while. I'm a fan. Here, come here, come here. Up oh, closer, closer. Let's talk wow factor. So in terms of wow factor, I'm gonna have to say... That was a pretty good note right there, to be honest. But I'm gonna have to say two out of five. I know, I know. This is really good, don't get me wrong, but it's exactly what I expected. It tastes identical to the other flavor we tried last summer. And there's just, the core is just not enough of a twist to up the wow factor. It's just a big chunk of cookie dough instead of little pieces of it. So the wow factor is gonna have to be the two out of five. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I'm sorry if you think this deserves a three, a four, a five, maybe. But as of right now, I think the wow factor is, is sitting at a comfortable two out of five. So one word to describe Ben and Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough core would have to be traditional. This is a very traditional piece. Cookie dough is just so common, so tried and true. You can't really get it wrong unless you're Halo Top because even that was bad. <laughs> but <laughs> for the most part, you can't really get it wrong. So it's just a very traditional flavor. It is a new take on the flavor by having one mountain, one log even, you could say, of cookie dough <laughs> inside the ice cream. But the log of cookie dough isn't enough to warrant a more extravagant word. So traditional would be my choice for word to describe. So thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of Quinn's Cones. I have a lot of ideas for some videos that aren't exclusively reviews coming up. And with the pandemic kind of coming to a bit of a close, I think, I hope, <laughs> I'll be able to do some stuff that's with other people and just maybe out in the world a little bit more, not so restricted to the Quinn's Cones set. So I have a lot of fun videos planned involving other people that I can't wait to start and shoot because I, I think they're gonna turn out really well. We will also get to do more of the core flavors as I find them. They only had the two when I went to the store last time. They only had the brownie one and the cookie dough one, but there is a peanut butter one and apparently that's really good. So I wanna give that a try. I might dive into the Malona bars again because there are two other flavors that I haven't tried yet. So if you don't wanna miss those videos and you liked what you saw today, be sure to subscribe. It means a lot and drop a comment if you got anything to say. So take care, have a great day. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. See you next week.